Hey everybody, I'm here today to share about my sunscreens. Um, I'm obsessed with them. Um, ever since I found sunspots on my face. Uh, if you liked um, this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for similar videos in the future. Um, I would love to connect with you. Um, let me know what you think after this video and share some of your favorite sunscreens with me too. Let's go. Um, so my favorite, okay, no doubt about it, my BB cushions. So I have two. Um, I also want to try two other ones. Um, I'm not sure if I'm saying this correctly. So it's Iope and Misha. I think they have really good BB cushions as well. But so far I have these two and I'm actually pretty satisfied with them as well. So Laneige. This one I use kind of as a base. Uh, actually, yeah, this one is new. I didn't uh, open it up yet. Um, I threw away the old one recently. Um, so I haven't opened this yet, but I use this for kind of like a base. So um, before I put anything on, um, I will use this just to cover, start covering up blemishes and stuff. And then um, kind of put in the base for some um, uh, sunscreen on. Um, so if you look back here, SPF 50 plus, and I'm using the shade Porcelain, number 11. So I like this one, it gives um, a little bit of coverage, so you can um, start off as a base with that. So sometimes I'll use um, this on its own and then just put on concealer. I mean, if my face is looking good, then I won't use anything else. Um, if my face looks like it needs, needs more coverage, I may go to this one. I find that Sua Su um, has a little better coverage and it's a little more moist. So it adds a little more moisture um, to my skin um, as opposed to the Laneige one. So I haven't even used this one um, enough yet for it to, um, uh, for me to get a refill. So this one I will use periodically. And I like it as well. It has it has good coverage. Um, let's see, this one. Oh, it doesn't say here. It has SPF as well, but it doesn't say how much. I'll check and then I'll I'll just put it um, in the description below. Um, so this one, I love this one. Face Blur from Etude House, SPF 33, Smoothing Pore Hiding Tone Up. I love this. I got this randomly. Just looking online, it looked okay. I bought stuff from Etude House before and it was fine as well. So I thought I would try it out and I, I wasn't sure like face blur, is it like foundation or is it kind of like a BB cushion? So it's kind of like both. So it will provide the sun coverage and it will also provide coverage. But it's in kind of like a bottle form. Now there's a tiny bit of a smell, but I'm okay with it. I normally don't like things that have a lot of fragrance, but this one is okay for me. So I don't put a lot because it spreads really um, smoothly. So I don't know if you can see, but it's not bad, right? And it's got the SPF. It doesn't feel sticky, so it feels good. And it has some coverage. So I will use this as a base sometimes, like a foundation that includes um, SPF. Not bad, eh? not um, overly shiny, not overly um, sticky, and it's moisturizing. So if your face is a little bit dry, it also feels a little bit moisturizing. So I love this. I will link this below and um, I'll also link the cost. I believe I got this on yesstyle.ca. Um, I don't remember seeing this in the actual Etude House store when I was in Asia, but I got this online on YesStyle. So I will link that below as well. And this one, this one, very interesting. I saw this on another YouTuber's channel. Unfortunately, I don't remember who now because it's been a while, but I kind of like this. So uh, UV Mineral Sun Kill, SPF 46. So what's good about this is that you can keep applying this um, even if you have makeup on. So now how, you know how they say that you should reapply sunscreen every you know, four hours or so because you're sweating and it comes off and everything. And you're like, well, how do I apply it? Like, do I have to wash my face and then reapply sunscreen on the bottom and do everything all over again? Um, 
or do I just like put it on and just you know have all the the dirt and everything mixed together on my face you know but this is good you can kind of just blot out your face um you know if there's a lot of oil just blot it out a little and then just apply this and it's like a powder so you just pat it like you can't see it come out here it, it is coming up though like i was wondering the same thing oh actually i think you can see it so you see there some of the powder has come out so it has a tiny bit of coverage and it has the SPF. So even if you have makeup on, just take this and just pat it on. Pat it on all over your face. Now sometimes it needs a little like, you know, patting or brushing because you actually see the powder. But after you blend it in your skin, it's, you know, it's there and the SPF is there. So I really like this. Um, the only thing is that it's a little big. It's not heavy, but like, if you want to stuff this in your purse, it's kind of, you know, a large, you know, bottle, but a large jar um, but yeah I really like this um, I also got this Anya style um, so I will uh, provide the link below um, I can't remember how much it costs because it's been a while since I got this um, but I love it it's very practical um, also if you put it in your purse you're not afraid that it'll somehow spill out because here it's kind of it's pretty um, you know sturdy like it's not gonna you know, sometimes you put in like some powder in your purse and then you look again later and it's spilled all out. This one is pretty good, it won't do that. So yeah, I would recommend this. It's um, very, very convenient and it does what it's supposed to do. So so here are my three, um, four um, go-tos for kind of makeup related, not actual like sunscreen, sunscreen. This is what I use um, for coverage and sunscreen together and I use it um, almost every day when I go out because I need sunscreen on my face every day. Um, pretty sensitive to the sun and I don't want any more sunspots on my face so I use these um, in tandem with uh, the other creams that I'm just about to show you. So this is my um base sunscreen, I don't know what you want to call it, but this is, I'll usually put this on um, after cleansing my face in the morning, I'll put this on right away, and then I will start layering on the other products like the BB cushions um, for extra protection, especially around the eyes and you know your cheekbones where the, um, it's most exposed to the sun. So I'll put this on first, then I'll put these um, on top for coverage, and then um, if I need to touch up, I'll use the mineral sun kill. So this is what I put on um, very, the very first thing I'll put on after cleansing. So aloe soothing essence, 50 SPF. It's for face and body, but I only use it for my face. Waterproof sun gel, holika holika. I got this while I was in Korea. It was, um, you know, buy two kind of thing. So I have two of these and it's good. The consistency is very good. It's not, you know how sunscreen is always sticky? This one is not sticky. It's very, um, it's like aloe. It's very, it goes on very smoothly. After you put it on, you know, no stickiness at all. Um, you don't need a large amount. It'll spread evenly and smoothly over your face. Um, so I really like this. When I ran out, I kind of want to um, get some more. I'm not sure if it's available on YesStyle. I haven't looked for this because um, I still have like another full bottle left and I haven't been using um, it a whole lot recently. So um, yeah, I, th I think it should be available on YesStyle or on any, uh, any other um, online site. You can check it out if you're interested in this. I'll try to find out um, where you can get this online and I'll put the links below, but I got these in Korea. Um, so I actually have another sunscreen. Um, I don't actually, I used, I think I used a little bit of this on my face before but mostly for the body because um, this one is kind of sticky and I really, really hate stickiness because my face kind of produces a lot of oil so I don't need oil and stickiness all over my face. Um, so I'm not a big fan of this. I don't put this on my face at all. I'll put it um, just maybe on my arms um, if I need to, um, but it's a Live Clean Sports. You can get this at any drugstore, Shoppers, Drug Mart, Walmart. Um, 45 SPF mineral sunscreen lotion. I just kind of chose this because I felt it was more natural um, and it's broad spectrum, UVA, UVB protection, 98% uh, naturally derived. Um, so it's okay, it's okay for the body, but 
I had originally wanted to put it on my face, but I did not end up doing that. I This is my go-to. Um, so if you're interested in, in other sunscreens for your body, you can consider this one. It's okay for the body. So yeah, those are all my products for sunscreen and coverage. Um, I hope uh, you know you, you learned something and maybe you haven't heard of these brands before, so you can feel free to check them out. I These baby cushions I absolutely love. I have two because I'll put one in my purse and I'll put one at home and I actually want to purchase um, the other two that I mentioned earlier too to just try them out and compare. So if you like this video, please consider subscribing. Um, I would love to connect with you. Um, please also leave me a comment on what you think about these products. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.